Afternoon everyone, so I decided to brave the weather and go outside because that's what drivers do on a stormy day. But I have taken precaution, I'm in an area of clear space, there's no trees around me. Uh, I have gone close to the river, but I have done so, and now I'm away from a low tide. And actually, on that note, I still think, yeah, I'll show you in a second, there's actually quite a lot of water in the river, so the river's pretty empty. It's a low tide, and now we can see that it's quite thin. And I think we've kind of been lucky this time around, just because um, the storm was delayed by a few few hours. Uh, as a result of that, the storm surge didn't coincide with the high spring tide. And the high so the tide this morning was incredibly high. Um, and if the storm had come in at the same time, blowing wind inland, as well as bringing in a storm surge, which is a bold in the sea level. And that always happens in an area of low pressure, because for every one millibar decrease in atmospheric pressure and sea level, about one, one centimetre. Um, so uh, and in a high tide, strong winds, and a sea, sea uh, salt so because it's sea bulging, you, have, you would have ended up with quite a significant amount of flooding. Luckily, the uh, storm already hit Bristol about two, two and a half hours after high tide. As a result of that, uh, most of the damage probably didn't occur, which is quite a nice thing. But it is still incredibly windy and chilly, so I'm going to go back in now, have a cup of tea. Um, and I uh, hope you all have a smashing half time. I'll see you in about 10 days' time.